Hello everyone and welcome to the Metal Gear Solid Elite Trophy slash Achievement Guide. In this video, I'll be teaching you how you can get the Elite Trophy as easily as possible. Before we can start, I would like to recommend you to watch my video for the Metal Gear Solid Trophy slash Achievement Guide and check the segment regarding the Elite Trophy for more info. This tutorial will be focused on the original Japanese version of Metal Gear Solid. The goal here is to help you achieve the Elite Trophy with the easiest and the safest strategies across the playthrough. So let's get started. Start the game and hold X to skip the cutscenes. During Kodak calls you want to skip them as well by pressing X repeatedly. So this is the dock area. Head to the left and go underneath the pipe. Wait here and pay attention to the radar on the top right. Notice the guard in front of Snake. Once he turns around, sneak on him and flip him. You want to flip him so you can grab the attention of the other guard and he's gonna come to investigate. Congratulations, you have successfully manipulated the other guard. The reason why you need to manipulate him is because you want to delay his movement so by the time the elevator comes in, he will not spot you as you go inside. As we are waiting for the elevator, the requirements in order to get rank 1 to obtain Fox or Big Boss rank is as follows. You need to beat the game in less than 3 hours with 0 continues, maximum 4 alerts, maximum of 25 kills, no more than 1 ration use, and a maximum of 80 saves. You're gonna save every 2 or 3 rooms, and you're gonna save before and after each boss fight. This tutorial will be using the easiest and the safest strategies across the playthrough. If you're going to go out of your way and do things the hardcore way, be my guest. My goal here is to help you achieve the Elite Trophy with the easiest possible way. Once the elevators arrive, go to the left and wait at this particular position. Knock right now and go left immediately. Once the guard is outside, go inside the elevator. Okay. There will be a bunch of cutscenes and Kodak calls. Skip all of them. Once you gain control of Snake, head to the helipad and wait right here. Avoid the searchlight, go in the middle and pick up the chaff grenade. Equip it immediately and use it. Head to the air vent in front of you. Skip the cutscene and go through the guards. Do not interact with him or do not punch him or throw him. Just go through him into the air vent. Inside the air vent, go to the right. Answer the Kodak call from Master Miller. Once you reach to the tank hangar, go to the tank and knock into it. Go to the box in front of you and knock at this position to grab the attention of the other guard and head to the elevator immediately. Okay. And to be one. Once you make it to the DARPA chief, skip the cutscenes right here. Open the Kodak call, call Mei Ling, and then save, as we are about to fight the guards.
at the beginning of the fight. Pick up the SOCOM, equip it immediately and start killing these guards. Each guard takes three shots to kill. Now there will be more soldiers and guards coming in. We do not want to kill any of the other guards. So the next patch of soldiers, you want to punch them and stun them enough so Meryl can kill them. Make sure to make circles around the guards, avoiding getting shot by them. You want Meryl to kill the guards, not you. If you have the chance, punch one of the guards to stun them so you can give Meryl the chance to kill them. Keep rotating, avoiding getting shot by the guards, and let Meryl do all the killing. Right here, head next to the door to avoid the grenades. Punch these guards, stunning them enough, and let Meryl finish them off. If you ended up losing too much health at this particular part, exit the game, reload the save, and try again. Now head to the elevator and to the armory in B2. Go inside this room and pick up the C4. And inside this room as well to pick up the grenade. Equip the C4 and plant one in front of the wall. Blast it open and go inside. Right here, you want to call mailing and safe. As we are about to fight Revolver Ocelot. Like I said earlier, save before and after a boss fight, and before and after any major encounter in the game. Equip the SOCOM here, and go fight Ocelot. Press X and Square at the same time. Shoot Ocelot and then move to the left. Shoot him here. Follow him. Shoot him and then turn around to avoid his shot and repeat this process. Every time you take a shot, make a wide turn to avoid getting shot by him. And that's Ocelot. There will be a bunch of cutscenes coming in. Skip them all. Now that you have defeated Ocelot, call Mei Ling and save again. Remember that across the entire playthrough. A safe before the boss, and a safe after the boss. So by doing this, you will not have to restart all over from a pretty far away. Head back to the armory. Now, the armory is crawling with guards. There will be a guard in front of you. Go to him, and flip him. And head to the elevator immediately. Inside the elevator, open your Kodak and type in 14015 to call Meryl. And skip the entire Kodak call. At the end of the Kodak call, go to the first floor. During that, Hold select or the left touchpad as you want to answer this Kodak call as early as possible. When Smeril opened the gate for you, head to it. There are lasers in front of you, so what are you going to do? You want to equip the cigarettes. And you want to cross here. Take your time, do not rush. Pay attention to the laser. If you happen to fail, load the save file after defeating Ocelot and try again. Now we are inside the canyon. Make a save file again.
go to the left, right here, crawl, and move in forward to pick up the claymore. Coming up is going to be the tank fight. This fight is a little bit tricky. At the start of the fight, throw a chaff grenade and wait for it for a little bit. Equip the C4. Once it detonates, go right towards the tank. Avoid getting shot by its bullets. Approach the tank as close as possible. Put the C4, detonate it. Now we have successfully slowed down the tank. Go next to it, throw a grenade. There you go. You want to stand close by at this proximity. After the cutscene, throw in another grenade, and there you go. And that's the tank. You are now inside the nuclear building. You cannot use any weapon with the exception of the chaff grenade. Also, I forgot to mention that you move faster if you have a gun equipped. So keep that in mind. You want to enter the nuclear building from the left side. Follow the route that I'm taking. Go all the way until you make it to the pillar and then pick up the chaff grenade. Wait for a little bit, pay attention to the guard until he moves in, approach him, flip him, and head to the elevator. And to be one. In B1, you want to go in and pick up the Nikita missiles, which is inside this room. Once you can pick it up, wait for the guard in front of you to pass. After that, sneak behind him and head back to the elevator. And head to B2. After you get the Kodak call, equip the Nikita and use it to destroy the power grid in the other side of the area. Go to the room closest to you, pick up the FAMAS and head to Arakan's lab. Call mailing here and make another save, as we are about to fight the ninja. So for the ninja, my recommendation is to keep on punch punch kick him and follow him. Do not let him run away from you. Once you deal two full combos to him, he's gonna run away and he's gonna start his second phase. Start punching him and follow him. Do not let him run away from you. Get closer to him.
once he deals enough damage, his third phase is gonna start. This is the hide and seek phase. He's gonna hide in in one of five locations across the room. You will know the first location because the camera is gonna pan towards it. However, you need to have a headset to determine where he's gonna land. Right here, he, had, he ended up landing on the left side. Right now, he landed on the right side. And there you go, that's the third phase. Coming up is gonna be the fourth phase. In this phase, you wanna bait his attack. Run towards him as he's gonna teleport, and after that, after he punches, go in and punch him. Just like what I'm doing right now. In the final phase, go in and pick up the chaff grenade close to the door, and wait from a far distance. Aim at him. Shoot him once. Shoot him again. And shoot him right here to finish the fight. There will be a lot of cutscenes coming up soon, so skip them all. Once you gain control of Snake, head back to the elevator. Before you head to the elevator, enter this room right here and pick up the stun grenades. Then, go to the elevator. Enter the office's area. Meryl is located right here. She's always gonna be here. Pick up the cardboard box and head after Meryl. Call Mei Ling and safe again. Go inside the offices and pick up more stun grenade, which is located right there. And now, head to the commander rooms. Equip the stun grenade. Wait right here. Once the door behind you close, take a few steps. Right here. <laughs> Skip the cutscene, throw a stun grenade, and pick up the ammo across the room. Equip the SOCOM in preparation for the boss fight against Psycho Mantis. After you pick up the last ammo box, open the menu and switch controls to player 2. So Psycho Mantis can be on different positioning based on how fast you start the fight. After you shoot him, go into first person view to determine where he's gonna go. After three shots, he's gonna go to the middle. 
keep on shooting him. After that, go back to the left side next to the disc and use the FAMAS and shoot him from far away. After 11 shots, you're gonna trigger the second phase where he's gonna possess Meryl again. Equip the stun grenade and use it. Get closer to Meryl. So what do you want to do here? You want to throw Meryl. And there you go. Now we're going to do as we did earlier. Follow Psychomantis and using the FAMAS, shoot at him. Don't be afraid of getting hit. Even if you lose health, it's completely fine, as your health will be refilled after each boss fight. And that's it. That's Psychomantis. Switch back to control port 1. And continue. So now we have defeated Psychomantis, Call Mei Ling, and Safe. So you do not have to fight him again. So here you want to follow Mero. The cave area are have like two dogs and one puppy. Punch the first dog because he is the most aggressive one. Once you make it through the cave and reach Meryl, after the cutscene, we're going to do something called the bead box. You want to punch Meryl and equip the box immediately. The cardboard box B. This will make the puppy pee on the box. And by doing so, the dogs will be familiar to the saint of the box, and thus, they will not attack you when you traverse through this area again. So here, all you have to do is just hold up. That's it, hold up. I appreciate what Meryl did here, but it's completely simple, just hold up. Once Meryl gets shot, exit the area, as there is nothing we can do about it. So back to the cave again. Crawl in. And then equip the box immediately. As you notice, the dogs will not be aggro and they will not attack you. So our goal here is we want to hit back all the way to the first building and into the armory as we need to pick up the PSG-1 in order to fight Sniper Wolf.
go to the first floor again and follow the route that I'm actually taking and you will be able to avoid the enemies on your path and head into the canyon So, the canyon. You want to hug the left side right here. It is by far the safest way to get through it. This canyon, there's a lot of claymores around the area, plus there are a bunch of cameras with turrets installed into them. So, hugging this side is by far the best and the safest option. And into the tank hangar. Head to the elevator and to the armory B2. If you want, you can make a safe. Right now, because there are going to be a lot of guards and you might mess up this part because of the lasers inside of the PSG1 room. So yeah, make sure to save here. Exit the elevator and flip this guy. Get closer and wait. Wait for the guy to turn around, sneak behind him, and enter the PSG-1 room. Crawl the way that I'm actually crawling. Pick up the PSG-1 and exit. Do not pick up the ammo crate because we're going to pick up more in other safe spots. Take the left side and head back to the elevator. and to the first floor tank hangar, and then we're gonna go to the canyon. Same as we did, hug the left side and go into the nuclear building. Pick up the grenade in front of you, although we do not need it, but if you feel like you want to pick up stuff, just pick it up. So, inside the nuclear building, go to the left like we did earlier and follow the route that I'm actually taking mash R1 right now the reason why I wanted to mash R1 is because you will be able to silence your footsteps by doing so so the guard in front of you will not hear it wait for this guy to turn around and sneak in behind him and throw him and head to the elevator immediately do not waste time as he will see you if you stand there, for a second he will be able to see you. So back to the commander's room and into the cave. Here call Mei Ling to save, as we are about to fight Sniper Wolf. The fight itself is not hard, but uh, things could become complicated. And that's due to the fact that the PSG1 scope on the Master Collection is not as good as the original game. Equip the box right here so we can traverse throughout the cave safely. There are going to be a PSG1 ammo bullets right here, pick it up. And they're gonna be a small vent or a small area you can s crawl inside. Inside here, there's a diazepam and two PSG1 bullets. Exit and then hit to the door to fight Sniper Wolf.
So immediately hit to the left side and wait right here. Notice Sniper Wolf's laser. Wait till it's gone, go to the middle, equip the PSG one, and then use one pill of the Diazepam and start the fight. If you get shot, unequip the PSG one and press up on the D-pad to orient yourself again and continue the fight. Keep in mind the original Japanese version of Sniper Wolf have more invincibility frames compared to the US version. As you notice, I could not shoot her due to her massive invincibility frames she have on the original Japanese version of the game. Continue the fight, and you will be able to take her down. As I said earlier, the fight is easy. Don't worry if you get shot. The most important thing, do not use a ration during the fight. If you game over, just exit the game, load the save file, and try again. After the fight, pick up the PSG-1 like I did, and head to the door so you can get arrested. So here, you want to submit to the torture. If you try to resist the torture, you will end up losing over 5 minutes. So here, there is nothing we can do. We have to wait for Arakan to show up and break us out. After the Arakan cutscene, put your back behind the door like this, crawl, and then position yourself like the way that I did. Use the ketchup immediately. The reason why I want you to position yourself like this, so you can escape without triggering an alert. And that will be beneficial later on in the run. Once the door is open, press X and mash square and break the neck of Johnny. Quit the key card and pick up your stuff. And now you want to get to all the way to where you fought Sniper Wolf. So, in the caves with the dogs, you do not need to equip the box. We have the scarf, aka the handkerchief of Sniper Wolf. And just like we did earlier, go underneath, pick up more diazepam. to the room or the area we, we fought Sniper Wolf. Yeah. 
So right here, you want to save. Equip the stun grenade after the save. You get closer, cook it, throw it inside. Once it detonates, get in, pick up the stun grenade and the rope, and then start your ascension. So, the ascension. There will be guards uh, across multiple floors. We're going to use the stun grenade plus throwing techniques to get over them. Throw the stun grenade right here. This will stun the guard close to the seventh floor. And then you want to throw a stun grenade right now. There are two guards you want to avoid. Don't worry if you get shot, just keep on going. Your health will be refilled once you reach to the top. Another stun grenade here. There will be a guard coming in. Like I said, don't worry if you get shot. That shot was intentional. I got myself shot, so you guys do not have to worry about getting hit at all. You will not lose a lot of health right here. However, the only important thing is that I want you to make it to the top without using a single ration. Do not use a ration here because your health will be refilled to full at the top. So right here, you want to equip the rope. Go forward, the cutscene will trigger. Hold up right here, and you will trigger the cutscene, and thus, you're going to start the rappel section. So right now, your health will be refilled. We need to repel all the way down. So what I want you to do is to follow the way that I'm actually repelling. If you took damage, don't worry about it. However, if you need to have taken too much damage, then maybe you should worry. <laughs> so right here, answer the Kodak call and hold left. Stand up right here, press X down. X down. X down left. X down right, X down left, X down right, X down, X down, X down right, X down left, X down, X down. By doing this, you have successfully repelled with the least amount of damage taken. So, we have made it to the walkway. At the end of the walkway, there are three soldiers. You need to take them down, equip the PSG-1 and the Diazepam, and start shooting them. Each guard takes two shots. Take your time, make sure to kill all three guards. After that, go through the walkway. There you go. The hind is going to show up, ignore it, keep on moving. And inside, pick up the stinger and its ammo. So we have made it to tower 2. We're going to try first to go all the way down, trigger the cutscene. And after that, we're going to have to go all the way up. After the cutscene with Arakan, equip the chaff grenade and start your ascension. 
there will be cameras with turrets in them. So we're going to use the chaff grenade to disrupt them. Once you make it to the top, pick up the ammo crates for the Stinger missiles. Ignore that ammo crate because it's a FAMAS one and we do not need it. Head to the ladder and climb it. And here, you want to call Mei Ling and save. And with this, conclude part one of the tutorial. I'll see you guys on part two with the hind fight.